doing this took me a total of around four hours. <laughs> Trying to figure out, Googling shit, everything. But I have it figured out. These things are what you're going to need. You're going to need, well, the game. Which is free. You're going to need this so you can import the models. This so you can actually export the models out of the F model program. U model does not work. Because this game uses Unreal Engine 5.1. And U model does not support that version. So so let's let's get started with the tutorial so go into F model and when you first open the program um, it should show you like oh what game do you want to select and it automatically selects Fortnite okay well I thought deleting everything would do this but anyway so what it should look like is this this is what it should look like. Now, what you want to do is go to add undetected game and type in the name of the game, which is, you know, you, you should already know. Like, you don't have to put this as a name, but it'd be really helpful to yourself. And you just select the directory, which if you don't know the directory of the game, it's it's C program files x86 Steam Steam apps common and then the game file and then you just select that folder and then you click this add button I already have it right here so I don't have to do that um but yeah yeah just click that add button and it might ask you to reset you just click OK if it asks you to reset then reset it. Now the next steps that you want to do is you want to go to settings and in general you want to select under UE versions game UE 5.1 since that's what this game runs on so you can actually open up the files. So select this as U, UE 5.1 and then go down here to local mapping file and it's typically disabled but enable it and then select where you have the mapping file. It doesn't really matter where it goes as long as you have it. I heard extracting the mapping file yourself is incredibly difficult. And just finding someone who has it is really hard too. But don't worry, I'll have all the download links to everything that you need. So, once you've done that, once you select the mapping file, click OK. And it should ask you to reset again, click yes. And this is what, what it should look like. You should see two files claywindows.pack and claywindows.utoc this doesn't have many files in it so it's the utoc file that you want double click on that and you should see this engine clay go into clay content and you should see several things now the files for this game are kinda scrambled they should be under first person bl blueprints but the files for the game are kinda scrambled and when doing it this way um basically all it gives you is the skeleton mesh like the the skeletons and the mesh so like if you want to apply like separate textures since this game does that like for the one that we're going to do uh which is under characters oopla bird running f this is where uh, this bird's model is by the way um all the actual textures are in a different folder and that folder being image textures and the problem with again doing it like this is that it only gives you like the mesh it doesn't let you like in blender it doesn't let you like apply different textures to different spots so that's the biggest problem which means you're gonna have to apply the textures manually or make a or make a texture sheet but it, it gets complicated when trying to apply textures. This is just how to rip the models and textures. So let's let's do it with the bird. Um, actually, ju just so it's faster, let's do it with a model, like with the um, remote. Now this thing has a 3D viewer. Like, let me double click on the remote real quick. And this actually has it separately so you can extract it properly. But 
like this thing has a model viewer as you can see but for some models it doesn't work with it like again with the bird it doesn't show anything even though this is the model to the bird if you do extract it you will get the model it just won't show it since it can't find any of the materials but yeah no we're not we're not going to do the bird we're going so again we're going to extract this model just because I think it's the best example because it has the textures and everything so you want to save the model as PSK which this is a model that saves as a PSKX but don't worry about that just let it save the model now the thing is this game is so poorly optimized that the models have over 10,000 polygons or faces so the models are comically large for no reason whatsoever but yeah yeah you just have to wait a little bit and you also want to save texture as well so now when you go back out into the F model file there's an output exports game first person yeah the the entire file path that you took to get to the model you do that again and as you can see here's the remote now the next thing you want to do is open up blender so once you have blender open uh, just remove everything and this is where you install the add-on I'm not going to show you because why would I get installing an add-on but pretty much that's where this comes in put this anywhere you like I would recommend documents and then you just go through the process of installing an add-on which I'm not going to show you and now you should have this import import skeleton mesh dot PSK you click on that and then you follow the file path to the remote or whatever model that you ripped so that would be in downloads F model output exports game first person blueprints models and then your model and import it and there you go now you have the model again applying textures is not easy that that's a separate project for you to figure out but hey at least you have the model and the textures so yeah there you go that's pretty much the tutorial now you can do whatever you want with this model you can export it as DAE or whatever you want you know import it into the source engine if you'd like it doesn't matter you can do whatever you want with it now maybe even turn it to a wireframe so you can see the 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 spider web of the spider web of a wireframe cuz i'm i mean look at this this is this is two separate models right anyway yep there you go that's the tutorial on how to rip this game's assets um, I think this works with music and the sound effects, but I don't I don't think this game has sound effects. It does have audio as you can see through here, audio footsteps and droid. And the actual audio file has a bunch of shit in it, as you can see here. Well there's main menu music. Um how I did that, by the way, because if you try to double click these, it won't just open it. You have to click the packages if it if it like has folders in it. So like this characters, even though it doesn't have anything, so you can't open it. You have to click packages. Um, if you have any errors throughout this, um, just rewatch, just rewatch a little bit, or or you're having a skill issue that I'm not having. <laughs> But yeah. But yeah. That that should be everything. I don't know how to end this. That that should just be everything.